ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, Anthony Showtime Pettis ready to go here as round one gets underway. This is a man with more than a dozen first round finishes spanning his mixed martial arts career. You gotta think his opponent is aware of that reality coming in tonight. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Tries to work it into a takedown. Beautiful body kick. Yet another huge kick lands. Leg kick lands. Beautiful combination there from Anthony Pettis. Really the face of Duke Rufus's team there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They've got a lot of fighters who've had a lot of UFC success. Chief among them, the former lightweight king, Anthony Showtime Pettis. On point with that jab today. Nice shot there by the champ. Potential submission attempt here. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Pettis gets back up. Just out of range with that left hook. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Able to land a combination there. Just over three minutes to go. Nice jab by Hughes. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed Dars. Yep, he's trying to hit a Dars here. That Dars is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg. So look like he's tagged a couple times there on top. He's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the uh, shot to the body. He told us he was going to attack that region. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Gets back to his feet. That leg can hurt. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think he's liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drive great timing on that double leg. All right, setting up for a submission now. That guillotine is tight. by the opponent. There it is, now he's running him out. Oh, going for a leg lock. Heel hook looks tight. Wow, a fantastic submission defense yet again. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight, thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that move. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Oh, and he connects there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being active, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, good work with the jab there. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, big elbow. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. Another big takedown. And a very 
a close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. You got cut. Listen, protect yourself. Stay away from it. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night and certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making it. You ready to fight? Ready. Here ready. we are, early round two. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Hughes. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Well, Pettis is trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, that sub is tight. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level. Oh, man, right there. We'll see if he can catch. shut the lights off, and now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Well, Pettis' right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, collar tie. Good body shot. All right, so there it is again. Rents repeat another takedown, just like we mentioned off the jump. This wrestler has been up in his opponent's face all night. Well, according to the game plan, it would be take this guy down and ground him out. It's exactly what he is doing. Every time he level changes, he gets to the hips, gets to his angle, and he secures these takedowns. He could not be happy. Nice job blocking the elbow. Big double leg double change. Pettis gets back up again. Nicely done. Nice kick. Hughes' eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get this. Two minutes to go in round two. And yet another takedown by Hughes. Back to the feet now. Oh, fades upstairs and lands crushed to the body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Oh, nice hand. And back to his feet. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, his opponent side has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planning on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love takedowns. Come on, do something different. Press punch. Do one of the special moves. I think. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice.
Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Hughes. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Twenty seconds left. Ooh. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. Huh. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You've got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Stop protecting your face move. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Pettis' head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Head kick there blocked by Hughes. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you... A beautiful hook. It landed perfectly and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, nice takedown. Yep. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a. Oh! Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Beautiful level change. Well, a case of pitcher. Oh! Oh, he got it again. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go. Oh! And that will do it! Holy smokes! With a massive highlight at the garden.